thank you and, and all of your uh, uh, delegates here today. And um, you know, uh, uh, when I made that speech, um, it had come from seeing time and again uh, constituents rock up to my office telling me stories that um, anyone with a sense of compassion, a sense of justice would realise um, that there's something wrong with the system. And the fact that we had a government that was then planning on introducing laws that were actually going to make that system more unfair and more unjust uh, really rankled with me. And, um, you know, so I, I gave the speech I gave. I think that um, I've heard the, the, the donators line before, but the, someone said you're a bit like a honey badger. I didn't, didn't know what a honey badger was, but it was a creature that just, despite getting stung and bitten and all the rest of it, just keeps on going and going and going. So I take that on. Uh, I love to be known as a honey badger. But um, the, uh, the reality is, um, <coughs> We are on the opposite side of the chamber now. Uh, Tony Abbott, uh, the Prime Minister, thankfully last Monday phoned me and uh, asked me to uh, be the Chairman of the Social Policy and Legal Affairs Committee of the House of Representatives. Uh, in that committee's role, uh, in, in that committee is uh, responsible for uh, social policy and legal affairs, obviously, but the two things that it carries is family law and the child support system. Mm -hmm. So that's been uh, providence, uh, really, that uh, I've ended up in that role. And uh, a little bit more providence is that two weeks before uh, actually getting that call from the Prime Minister, I had a meeting with uh, the Minister, Kevin Andrews, Minister for Social Services. And I asked the Minister, uh, firstly I said that I was interested in actually chairing that committee and working with him, uh, the second thing I said is, regardless of what happens, uh, I want you to have an inquiry into the child support system. Uh, the fact is it's broken, it is unjust, there are people killing themselves over what's going on. Uh, and I told him, but three of the many, many stories that I hear, um, and uh, you know, he's heard them before too, every member of parliament would have heard them. If you're not hearing them, then quite frankly, you're not listening to your constituents. So we need to do what we can uh, to make the system fairer, more balanced, more just. Uh, there is a motion that I took to the National Party Federal Conference uh, in, I think it was last year. Um, that uh, uh, motion is now National Party policy and as a uh, party that is in government, uh, my role, being a member of that party, is to ensure that that's what gets, gets done. Now that policy I can't articulate off the top of my head, but it called for an overhaul of the uh, payment calculation system of child support. It called for a nexus to be established between uh, court orders uh, and child support so we don't have a situation where ex-partners are uh, absconding with, uh, with children, uh, reducing the care time uh, of, of someone to zero through no uh, control of their own and then having the child support come in and say, well, we're going to up the... Uh, up the ante on your child support payment simply because um, you know your ex-partners uh, have done something wrong again. And that, that, that situation is clearly unjust, clearly unfair, but there's a lot more than that. So um, I'm going to be continuing the conversation with the Minister for Social Services. In fact, I'm meeting with him this afternoon to discuss this very issue. Uh, he is amenable to having some sort of inquiry. Um, it will have a uh, pretty tight terms of reference, as I understand because we want the inquiry to come out with recommendations that the government will be able to pick up and adopt. We've had two inquiries in the past in the Child Support Agency, and you know a lot of the recommendations that come into them were pretty bloody good. But what's happened with them is they've sat on shelves and gathered dust. Nothing's changed. So I don't want to be yet another chairman of an inquiry that gives a report that's just going to sit on the shelf and gather dust. I want to be the chairman of an inquiry that's actually going to do something meaningful and change the system to make it fairer, to make it more just, so that we don't have men killing themselves week in, week out. Um, and that's my mission in this parliament. Uh, if I can do but one thing before I leave here, it'll be restoring some justice to that system. So thank you for all your...